Hello everyone, it is I, Remag UK, and we are back with some more amnesia. So this is where I left off. I was too scared at the time to go through this hole, but now I'm ready. I've got the old surround sound activated, and we're ready to get out of here. Unless I can't, which is apparently the case. <laughs> Oh, look at that strength right there. Get out of the way, you bloody thing. How do I crowd? Oh, God. There we go. Oh, man, we're out. Cup of tea, of course. Can't go without a cup of tea. Just a floral cup this time. Bit of a rose on there. was that what was that I just I just don't know just move me microphone a bit there we go right <clears throat> what is that god damn oh no 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 oh god Shit, I'm actually quite low on oil now. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck! What was that? Why did it do that? Oh my god, it's dark. What is that? Why is it doing that, this troll? Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Is what safe? Oh my god. There's no one in there. Oh my. What's happened here? Someone, someone's, someone's bent him over. And he's, oh, oh, he's got a, I don't know if his ankle's meant to be doing that. I mean, that's pretty weird. Let me just take that and get the fuck out. If I move this and just give him a nudge, you know, straighten up his foot at least. You can't have a foot like that. I mean, that's quite ridiculous. I'll just scoop it up. No, okay, he's not having any of it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him a bucket. No, it doesn't work. Never mind. Oh, it's quite good, the shadow effects. Look at that. Move it. Oh, it's not that great. Okay, anyway, let's just get out of this bloody place. Frick, that was a loud door. I mean, what the fuck is he going on about? Yeah, it's all clear. Enter. Tinderbox. Gonna need as many of them as I can get, quite frankly, because, I mean, you know, just, yeah. Is there anything behind there? No. Nothing behind there. I, I can't. It's so loud. This 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 game. Right, I can hear myself think. Ah, note. Lovely. Second of August, 
1839. I have arrived at the village, arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. Ah, yes. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. Mm. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Well, they're not really dead because of you, are they? I mean, I mean, they might be, I suppose. But, uh... I don't even know. Is that, a, is that a loaf of bread? Wow, it's a loaf of bread. Quite well designed, I'd say. A bit mouldy, but uh, I'll take it. Could do with a loaf of bread. You just cook it. Oh my god. Safe. Yeah. God, it never tells you with the music, does it? If it's safe or not. And he's still got a freaking broken ankle. Please no. Well, I haven't really got soon will be ready. Let there be enough time. Well, I haven't got an escape option. He escaped. Where is he now? Who escaped? What? Talking about me? Cacking myself. I love to cack my pants. Seems it's all I do these days. We'll take that. Fucking have you, mate. No. If I can drill your bitch. No. How about a little bit? No. We're on our own, it would seem. Get my oil up. Hey, you! Stop! Stop. Don't come any closer. You ain't going you anywhere, go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I I'm that telling Gabriel. Back into the real world. When anything can happen. Around every corner is an obstacle. Possible death. Bordering on a certain. Fuck with that. Frickin' frick. Where did that come from? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Fuck. 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 I mean, I don't know. Is it there? I can't see shit. How do you know? How do you know? Oh God, I still can't see. Shit. I'm trapped.
Use the barrel. God damn. God, it's gone. Does it patrol? I mean, ideally, you'd want to just keep an eye on the damn thing all the time, wouldn't you? So you know where the frick it is. I keep burping. I mean, I don't know where I'm going. I can't run out of oil. Well, then I'm really fucked. There's the broken ankle guy. Fuck, man. So is this going... This is going back. I'll go this way. I think I went... The other way before. How was that noise? Oh, my God. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. I'm going to finish my uh, cup of tea, which is good. Um, that calmed me slightly, I think. I think I'm ready. You want to pitch me? So not ready. So not ready. Oh fuck! Why is it breaking the other door? Is he gone? Why is that music still playing? I think the music stopped, that means it's safe, I think. Is that how it works? I don't know. Freaking how do you open this fucking door? He went through here, I think. Fucking 
hell, that noise scared the shit out of me. I might have cacked myself. On the right side, I don't think he'll be around here for a while now, because he's already uh, displayed his uh, his uh, su superiority over me by uh, scaring the shit out of me, quite frankly. I mean, you know, as you do. I'm on the other side of that gate, so I see. Interesting. Now we shall uh, fucking fuck fuck. Ah, oh, good. Let us, let us, uh, let us, um, what's that? A glass jar. Okay. Let's get the fuck out. What do I need, what's the glass jar for? Hide in here. Oh god, make the fucking thing flat. Oh yes. I can't get it. Eh. <sighs> Does it even come here? Am I doing this? There we go, that's perfect. Our uh, X makes the dot appear, that's useful to know. <sighs> I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I mean, I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably going to come at me when I go out there next. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Time really flies when you're doing this. It's ridiculous. That's uh, 17 minutes, just about. That's crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, as usual. And I will see you guys... Yeah, actually, one thing. I'm gonna be trying. I'm trying to release maybe two a day, two a day of various things, with Battlefield, like as addition start. You know, FPS games as additional things. So I'll try and keep these Let's Play things two a day if I can, and then Battlefield or an FPS game, you know, one at once a day maybe if I can. So there'll be quite a lot of videos. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. God, I hope that bastard doesn't come here. Tally ho!